G'day, I'm Dick Owen. I'd like to welcome you all to YouGolf Celebrity Battle with a bit of a difference today. I'm entertaining a lady, not Ooh. any just lady, but a sensational golfing vision in pink. It is, of course, the TV royalty we know as Carrie Ann Two Gloves Kenley. <laughs> What's with the two gloves? Well, who wants to get sunburned and wicked freckles all over your hands? So, if you wear two gloves, you don't have that issue. You are such a, a girl. Look it at is you. such a girl. If I was a real girl, I'd, I'd have pink. Pink gloves, but my black gloves today. Okay, nine hole battle, you up for it? Oh man, yeah, bring okay. it on. Okay, you're a member here at Macquarie Links. I am, it is a fabulous golf course. I love this, I've been here for 10 years. Forget that, I need some insider trading. You're gonna mm, give me all the tips? No, no, this is a battle. Figure it out for yourself. Can we play off the reds? Uh, if, have you got your skirt with you? No. I wanna see those legs. Okay, now, I'd even consider it if you roll them all up to just above your knee, because we do have a, an appropriate knee length. <laughs> So, or do I have to play off the blues? Oh, you you're really going to want to rub my nose Would in this. Would you really do that to a girl? Yes. It is a bit more social than it is. Let's get it? on with it. Okay. Oh! There you go. Right down the middle. One. How often have I golfed with a playing partner who's brought this with them? It's, it's subtle, understated. What's your problem? I'm it's my shoes. I'm so jealous. I want a shag bag like that. <laughs> oh, stop it! Just stop it, would you? <laughs> Boys and losing just doesn't go. Have we got a bet on this, by the way? <laughs> no, not the way you're playing. <laughs> ah. So how long have you been playing golf? I've uh, been playing golf about 10, 12 years, but you know, you have the, when you work, work's terribly inconvenient for your golf, not good for your golf at all. You have these big gaps, but I still love it. But I tell you, when I started, I was so naive. Uh, somebody said, well, well, you know, go warm up, go and hit a bucket of balls. So I've gone, okay, so I walked out and here's my bucket of balls and this is what I did. I didn't know you weren't supposed to hit the bucket. Look at this. She's got her own balls. <laughs> I'll tell you, I am with royalty today. Some people wouldn't be surprised at that. Oh, Go on, stay there. That's awful! Oh, still almost as bad. Well, you know why they call it golf. Because all the other words are taken. Was taken yes. <laughs> but you guys also love to bet. Loads bet. You couldn't possibly go on the course without having a bet. But mind you, we have a lotto ticket. That's about as do, much as we do. Do you know the, um, the, 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 you know, the person I've seen sledge most on a golf course hmm. was Laura Davis. Oh, really? Oh, merciless. <laughs> merciless. She was out driving all the blokes well, and then be... calling them wussies. <laughs> oh, and then put, and, and putting money down on each shot. Yeah, she's the betting queen, that one. She's awesome. Drives the Ferraris and she bets big time. With dancing, when you're dancing with fabulous world championship dancers, they're sort of, it's all clinical and mechanical to them. So what you have to do is take oh. your thigh and press it against my hip, mm. and then what you do is put your arm right there, and you've got to keep your head out there, and then you've got all sorts of other, is it, is it all coming back to you? Golf's no longer good for my relationship. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've been playing golf about 10 years, but I understand you're actually part of Golf Australia. Yes, so they invited me on the board, uh, uh, just joined there a little while ago, about six weeks, two months. What do you have to do? Um, sit there, have a wonderful board meeting in a fabulous place and go and play golf. <laughs> <laughs> so you just get to play the best courses in Australia? Yeah, that'd be it. Yeah. If, if you're on the board of Golf Australia, mm. does that actually get you on all the good courses? I haven't asked that, but I'm working on it. Now, I think golf training is really important because one of the challenges, and what we discussed last time as well, is golf is suffering in Australia and around the world because, let's face it, these days people are time poor, 
Uh, they need to invent some ways of getting more people into the game uh, in a shorter period of time. So maybe some six and nine hole matches and encouraging people. Who would be your perfect four ball? Whew. Well, I've got to say, um, Adam Scott is just absolutely gorgeous. Greg's always been really kind. I've interviewed him so many times. Um, I adore Jason Day because he's got such a wonderful story. Uh, that and Robin Williams. <laughs> so, so that's about a seven ball. Most of your posh courses won't let you on yeah. with a seven oh, ball. Oh, you think? you like buying golf gear? I buy golf gear. You have to hide it from your husband. No. Do you know what? I, Why I, would I have to hide anything from my husband? He's well, wonderful. Well, I have to say, I, I got to a stage where I was buying so much golf gear on the sly that I had to find a place to hide it. And I found a cupboard to hide it. And you know what I found in there? One. All her, her clothes. Her shoes that she was hiding <laughs> from me. You had to have an amnesty. <laughs> That's and it. So I have to say, one of us, one of us edged it, but it'd be, after such fun, it would be rude to have a win here. Okay. Can I just say <laughs> that is probably the most fun I've had on a golf course. Oh, Thank you so much. Well, that's what golf should be about—fun. Sometimes it doesn't seem so much fun. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Thank well, you it was so really much. good, and I'm, I hope you enjoyed it.